Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development Festa Skayamo says the United Nigeria Airlines incident will be investigated and those indicted will be sanctioned. The minister who spoke ahead of a meeting with heads of agencies under his ministry on the sector safety concerns also confirmed the wet lease sanction given the airline by the NCAA. He admits there are regulations failures in the industry but says such laxities will not be allowed to thrive going forward. The meeting is now ongoing and its outcome will be made known after it ends. We need to get a technical record, report of what happened. Pending those reports, and that's why you see the head of NSIB here, pending those reports, we must take precautionary steps to ensure the safety of the lives of Nigerians. I understand that the NCA today I was, I was inside FEC since I just came out of FEC, and I understand the NCA has issued a notice suspending the work leases of United over the incident. We are going to look at all of that and uh, take concrete measures, concrete measures going forward to ensure that these incidents do not repeat themselves. TVC News correspondent Lara Falayo is actually following uh, developments with that briefing by the minister. She will join us uh, with more details and then she will join us later to give us updates on uh, that briefing. But right here in the studio, we have aviation correspondent Ayomide Ajegbe. Ay, you were at the airport today. Yeah. Uh, I, I could see the frustration being expressed by some of those passengers. Talk to us more about what you saw. All right. Um at the airport today, um, I saw a lot of passengers who came. Of course, they had, some of them had their tickets. Some of them are buying tickets at the counter there. And some of them seems to be caught off guard with the situation because they felt that um, the airline probably is aware or was aware that they are not going to fly. Some of them don't even know about the news that um, there, there, had been, uh, the, there was a suspension on them. Now, when I, what I saw today just showed what has been happening in the aviation system, aviation sector for a while. Because I remember vividly about two weeks ago, Dana also had a similar issue where, you know, an engine was have, had, had developed a fault before even passengers embarked on the flight, even though there were social media reports that they are already in the aircraft before the engine came off. But I saw in practical essence why Nigerians are frustrated because they feel this happens every time. I saw a guy who was um, going on and on, ranting at the officials. He doesn't want to listen to anybody. He was just there and saying, you have to give me my money here or you have to provide another flight because myself and my family are going to the Netherlands in the next three hours. Now, how do you, as a person, how are you able to cope with that situation when <laughs> your flight has been cancelled and they are telling them to wait till the next day mm. or probably they will you know reschedule their flight so and it, it, it it's may not even be able to happen because now the minister of aviation and aerospace uh, aerospace services has actually announced that uh, wet leases belonging to united nigeria will be grounded until they have a session with the crew involved with those wet leases perhaps you should just uh, uh, help us understand in layman's language what wet leases are and how they relate to United Nigeria. All right, uh, so wet lease, let me just use the layman language as you said. It's just like you have a car and um, you decide to um, buy maybe one, two, three vehicles and you put a driver there and you fill the car, you register the car and you ask the person to go ahead and make money with it. So it is you own it but you are providing the vehicle, you're providing the driver, you're pro you have done the registration, then that is just the same way wet leases are. Just some people have an aircraft, they decide to you know, get, uh, purchase some of these aircraft, get the cabin crew, the uh, pilot, mm. the flight attendant, and even do service maintenance. So that is what it is on that. Okay. So, uh, and um, with the directive of uh, the minister that they have been granted, uh, until they appear, of course, before authorities concerned, you will agree that um, we never can tell how long this grounding is going to take. You remember the max air issue that happened in August and September? I think it took a while, like one, two months. But Nigerians are not patient. They want 
to get their money fast. Is it about Nigerians not being patient <laughs> or about what is before them? Some of them are probably going for interviews. You're Some right. of them have deadlines to meet. And this cancellation, you know, just puts an abrupt stop. They, they do not even know how to proceed. And many do not have the funds to book another flight. Let's look at some of those other uh, things that the minister has said. He says that wet leases henceforth must have Nigerian cabin crew members, even if the pilot is foreign. So uh, trying to bring in sanity into the system. Uh, what, what do you make of you know, some of these things, directives coming from the minister? Yeah, I think in the case of the Niger Nigeria airline, the, most of their cabin crew are foreign. Uh, foreigners. And um, I think um, it's something they need to look into, especially when you're looking at, of course, job security, when you're looking at um, involving Nigerians who are experts, well, no, Nigerians who are experts, who, who are doing this thing. Some of them go years to get certificates, to get cert uh, certification, some of these uh, aviation programs. And uh, uh, I think it's a right step in the right direction. And I also believe that um, this will also help airlines to actually sit up and be kind um, kind of inclusive, uh, trying to take some of our Nigerian experts along and also I think the way foreigners can come into the picture is advisory role, you know, some guidance and some of that. Then by the time we advance and get to that level where uh, we can now stand on our own, then we can really do a lot of things. And we look forward to that. And thank you very much, AY, for this update. And I'm sure that your eyes are on this story because we need to get to the very uh, last of it. Thank you, AY. Thank you so much.